Hello, dear friends. We are glad to welcome you to our channel. Let's talk about plywood, one of the most common materials processed on a milling machine. Plywood can vary in thickness, size, quality, and production method. We will use FSF plywood as an example. Increased moisture resistance. Machine dimensions. When choosing a material, it is important to consider the dimensions of the machine and the dimensions of the work pieces. The parts must be placed on the milling machine so that there is a small power reserve when cutting. Spindle power. Depending on the power, milling process can be done in two ways, with fast feeding, running speed, and slow rotation of the milling equipment, or vice versa. The first method is the high-speed one, and the second is the power method. The high-speed method is used for finishing, finished machining, materials, so it does not need high power and increased cutting force. The power method needs increased torque and sufficient power. Both low power and powerful spindles are suitable for processing plywood. The speed and depth of the process will depend on the power. How is the workpiece fixed to the milling machine? There are different methods, a clamp or self-tapping screws on a T-slot table, or a vacuum table. Let's look into these two types of tables. Vacuum table. It fixes the workpiece to the work table with the power of a vacuum pump. It comes with a backing cord, which allows you to cut off parts of the workpiece that do not fit into the working area of the machine. To fix wood, MDF, chipboard, you need a pump with a capacity of five kilowatts or more, as a result of which there will be high energy costs. But for milling large workpieces of other materials, the vacuum table is the best choice. If the machine does not have a vacuum clamp, you can use T-cut clamps or self-tapping screws. Working with these clamps, you need to carefully prepare the model and make sure that during processing, the moving parts of the machine do not touch the fasteners. Cutter. To work with plywood on CNC milling machines, you can use three types of cutters, down milling, up milling, and compression cutters. As long as the cutter is new and well sharpened, any cutter will work fine no matter which one you use. However, if you use the up milling cutter for a long time, then may occur creases and edge defects on the top of the material. The same will happen with the down milling cutter, but at the bottom edge of the material. Therefore, we recommend using compression cutters to cut plywood. They are free of these disadvantages. When preparing a model, you should remember that there will be slight lateral pressure on the part during machining. If the part is small and the vacuum does not hold it in place, it may fly off destroying the tool or damaging the part itself. There is a great way to avoid this. Make the jumper wire while you prepare the model. In this way, the piece will hold the rest of the material and will not deteriorate. When milling plywood, you need to choose the right cutting mode to get a good result. Depending on the diameter of the tool, you need to choose the speed of the movement accordingly so that the cutter does not bend and vibrate. You should use a cutter with a diameter. Set the speed of movement at 10 to 15 millimeters per second. Pay attention to the sound when cutting. It should be smooth without periodic amplifications. Rotation speed, idle speed, should be selected so that no carbon deposits or brittle and torn edges are left on the edge. When cutting, the chips should be small and crumbly. If the edge burns, you need to reduce the speed and add a little feed, air supply. The fuzzy edge may indicate that the tool is not sharp enough and needs to be replaced, or the number of revolutions of the cutter needs to be increased. If a roughness appears on the edge, it may mean that the tool is bent while milling, so you need to reduce the air supply and add speed. When working with wood, dust and chip removal is very important. A clean room will help to extend the life of your machine. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them in the comments.